is an award-winning international speaker, marketing strategist, film producer, but above all, he is the embodiment of grace. <laughs> Damien Skinner, ladies and gentlemen. I asked him to say that because it's not fair to follow someone like that in the speech, so I asked him to say I'm the embodiment of grace, which clearly is not true. Guys, I want to talk to you really quick about innovation. I travel the world talking about innovation, and I love going to third world countries, impoverished nations, and seeing what they actually have that works. And I refer to the world as our lab. That's a bad dad joke. I apologize. I'm full of them. I have a lot of kids. But as I've traveled the world, what I do is I come back and I work with my marketing clients on what I find is actually working. And the reason that's important is because what I found is this is what most people think of when I ask them, what do you think, what do you see when you hear the word innovation? That's what most people think of, is technology. And what I want to get across tonight, and I get really intense about this shit because I get really excited, is all of you are innovators. Everyone in here is innovators. Here's the other face of innovation. His name's Paul, not his real name. And Paul introduced himself to me as, I'm a poor boy, I carry trash. And I learned about innovation in Swaziland while big building piggeries of how they operate. Because guess what? It's not innovation. It's survival. And I don't want to be a downer. This isn't for a dime a day. It's not one of those conversations. But these people know how to innovate. And the reason they know how to innovate is because it's survival. And what I want you to understand is that innovation is nothing more than truly just ingenuity. And what I'm finding is I work with startups and with other companies all around the world is people are blocking themselves, they're censoring themselves around being innovative. I want you to look at this. The biggest problem Americans have is too many freaking choices. We are starved to death from too many options. So what I do is I go in, I have everyone put their damn phones down, put their tablets down, put their computers down, put everything down, and I have us sit down and start working on how to limit ourselves in order to be innovative. I'll get to that here in a minute. So really, it's just, an, it's just a word game. At the end of the day, it's just another word. Innovation is how you're taking an ingenuity, how you're taking something to the market, but you're being creative to solve your problems. This is my son, Ronan. He's a year old. That dude can get into anything. Ronan, mighty, mighty. He can get in anything. He can climb, he can get in, he can, like literally I've seen him like safe cracking shit. He can get into anything. Let me tell you what technology, what innovation is not. It's not technology. Technology can be a result. It's not complicated, and I'm gonna say it. It's not very PC, but it's not a rich white guy club. Everybody in this damn place is innovative. And we keep hiding behind the leaders of innovation in our business. How many of you heard of Lean Startup? Anybody heard of that? That's an innovative model, but how you roll it out is the technology. And we get those confused all the time. So how do we take innovation back? This is an hour-long speech. I'm cramming as much as I can, all right? So bear with me. But how do you take innovation back? Simple, simple steps. We strip away all the BS. We strip away all the glamour. And people are always asking me, Damien, what, what's the secret sauce to innovation? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to share with you guys right now. So get, get ready to take a really important note. The secret sauce is that there clearly is no freaking secret sauce. It's bullshit, all right? I'm around a lot of, I'm sorry for my language, I get excited. I'm around a lot of innovators who, something's missing, it's all right. But I'm around a lot of consultants that make things complicated so people will pay them more. And what I have found is people start with the money. How much money are we trying to make? You can't innovate if you're trying to generate money. You're immediately screwed if you're thinking from how do we generate more money. I love this, properly framing it. I, know, I have no idea if Einstein ever said that because there's a million Einstein quotes, so fuck it, let's move on. <laughs> Leverage yourself. The first thing you need to do is you need to remove the concept that you can spend money. Americans have a shit ton of money and we're used to solving problems by laying down credit cards and getting loans. Also need to limit your time. Give yourself two weeks to innovate a solution. Give it and put it out there. And my, this last one is the one everyone freaks out and this is the biggest secret that I've seen to people having breakthrough innovation. And that is putting your ass on the line. Telling people, I've got two weeks and I'm gonna solve this problem. And I know, I understand what you're saying. Don't, you don't wanna say that because if I fail, people won't believe in me. They don't believe in you already. You gotta get out there, you gotta put your ass on the line and you need to stop spending money to solve problems and you need to limit yourself because you're an American and you got a shit ton of options. You need to think 
like you're in a third world country. You need to think like you have no other options. And learning how to leverage the people that you know, leveraging your networks. In this room, I'm just going to say it, in this room, there is every resource that you need to innovate and find a solution in your company. In this room right now. And if you aren't looking for it, you're not going to find it, and you're going to throw down a credit card. What the hell? Oh, I'm out. Peace. Innovate, bitches.